Hello everybody and welcome back to Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. Now I've got a penchant for doing TV based games, but for once we're doing one that's not actually a game show. This is CSI New York, based on, obviously, American Idol. Now obviously this is a game based on one of the umpteen CSI series that's out there. This one takes kind of a bizarre approach to the subject matter too, as we will see. <laughs> Some of the worst graphics I've ever seen in a game that came out recently. It's kind of a weird choice to do a comic book styling for the gritty environment of CSI New York, isn't it? Starring hard-boiled white detective, big-titted science lady, other big-titted science lady, intelligent douchebag, token old guy, token non-white person, They couldn't afford the hoof. I'm glad you're here. It's a messy scene with a lot going on, but I'll let you draw your own conclusions after you look around the bit. Thanks a lot, Detective. I appreciate you offering me no advice or insight into the situation whatsoever. So here I've got to take distinguishing photos of the victim. So obviously, uh, incredibly small penis. What? They're not going to count that. I've got to take a photo of his fingerprints, a photo of his face, and a photo of the million tattoos on his chest. No? That's not it. His fingerprints and all of the tattoos on his body. And the curious thing about CSI New York is how they turn it into a fucking hidden object game. So here I am as a hard-boiled fucking detective here. And oh, oh look, there's a donut in the trash can. Better add that to my case file. How about this Coke can next to this potted plant? Rubber ducky? That seems a little bit weird. Better pick it up. Put it in my bag. Coffee cup. Probably has to do with this guy jumping off the Empire State Building. Oh yeah, another one. The heart from the I Love New York sign. Potted plant from a completely innocent person's first floor window. So to get this blood sample, we gotta draw around the blood sample. It makes this sound like I'm fucking airbrushing a unicorn onto some guy's van, but all it shows is a fucking Q-tip. We gotta find a peace sign. Uh, victim loved peace, huh? Open and shut case, Johnson. Thing about jumpers, they leap from no higher than the 20th story or so. They leap from... People who commit suicide by jumping leap from no higher than the 20th story? Why? It's always gotta be a deadly but short fall in case you change your mind halfway down. What? How would that help? Just because the fall's short doesn't mean you're not gonna die if you change your mind. Might be pretty important to the guy. The distinctive logo might mean Oh, uh, do you think? I didn't know what to make of it either. It's some sort of ultra-light fabric. They tell me it's called a bra, but I've never seen one. Alright, so Hidden Object Stage Part 2. Mm, I guess we'll start by taking this mop. Hopefully the janitor won't be using that. Okay, so this is how I'm going to log into this computer that I've just illegally accessed. Select pairs of numbers in squares to swap their position. To complete the password, each row and column must total 15. It must be a pain in the ass for this person to log in every day. Jesus Christ, this is harder than Sudoku. Well, my supervisor was, but I covered for him. I've been in the back trying to log onto my computer. It took me two hours. I use it to watch everything that goes on here. Even when I'm not here. I think that might be morally wrong, Bill Travers. Your computer can compare the victim's face against your old security tapes. See if he's walked through the door. I like how even the character model here is like, that doesn't seem like something that could actually be real. Oh man, so now I've got to match the victim's face as close as I possibly can. Nailed it! I've got to use my magnifying glass to discover irregularities. How about these hooks protruding out of his back? This is what your hands look like after 10 years of All professional other Starcraft. Showed the same thing. The guy's like a bag of glass. His bones shouldn't be shattered this extensive. Someone didn't drink enough milk as a kid. Now, how am I supposed to believe you're a TV scientist if you're not even wearing glasses? Uh, not sure yet. You can check the monitors for anything you need to know. What am I, just a trained professional? How about you, detective with no science knowledge whatsoever? Check out my findings and tell me what happened. Ah, uh, so you're telling me this scientist was not smart enough to read these logos and then look at these listings and match them up? Geez, no wonder the unsolved crime rate is so high. Hypodermic needles and a surgeon's scalpel. What was this guy into? Gray's Anatomy. I believe I have your stapler. Yeah, Mac, we got a new case. Some scumbag is stealing all sorts of random shit from all these businesses around town. We gotta find the motherfucker. I think he's on the inside. Like I said, it's one of the best pieces I've ever done. But believe me, that tattoo's a one of a kind. Yeah, that like tribal line, dragon tattoo is totally one of a kind. Of course. 
A name as unusual as his personality, Clay Sandor. Clay Sandor, he sounds like a goddamn bounty hunter in the Star Wars universe. We'll have to do the math to figure out which floor he fell from. All right, let's do the math, AJ. Very weird. So that means he either jumped farther than humanly possible, or he started higher than the top floor. You sure you did your math back? You're the goddamn math person, Lindsay! Positive. And math never lies, Lindsay. Yeah, because girls wouldn't know anything about math, even if they are wearing a lab coat. Right, Mac? My old trig teacher said that, too. I never thought I'd actually use trig. You're a scientist in a crime lab! No one would ever say that! So I've got to draw a line from Clay Sandor here to Clay Sandor here. And I can't touch any of the other folders. This is the only part in this game that is a thousand times more complicated than a real cop's job, at least in this aspect of it. All you gotta do is look at it and realize, oh, they're the same names, that must be his address. But here it's goddamn impossible, it's like playing Operation with boxing gloves on. Look at that shit, it was perfect! I didn't touch it at all! Come on, I didn't touch it! Daddy! Come on! We're, you know what, we're just fuck it. we're gonna skip this. Match found! No fucking kidding! Looks like, looks like you've got quite a mess on your hands. Oh, now's not the time for dirty talk, Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's obvious that the dude was trying to do some kind of sweet stunt off the top of his, uh, off the top of the Empire State Building, but he fucked up. And he was using that ultralight fabric as some kind of wing. I'd finally shed this gravitational coil. I could at least be who I was born to be. You think he jumped off the top of the building? Alright, so I've got the blood sample, but I still need two more things. How is that possible? Oh yeah, I really needed to steal this key. Now someone's not going to be able to get into their goddamn house tonight. Hey Mac, got something? Yeah, gonorrhea. Link Sark, manager of the greatest athletes in the world. How can I help you? Cut your hair. Oh man, I'm sorry to go back to the title screen here, but I just could not take any more. To be honest with you guys, I've been playing this game for like an hour and a half, and we're still doing the agonizingly slow reveal of the fact that Clay was an urban climber who committed suicide, well, I guess, had an accident climbing the Empire State Building, and fell to his untimely death. So this is the kind of hand-holding that CSI New York does. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. As always, if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate its likes and or favorites, but hey, no matter what, I will see you guys next week with another episode. Thanks for watching. Looks like you've got quite a mess on your hands. Oh, now's not the time for dirty talk, Lindsay. Yeah.